Hey y'all, it's your girl Millie Chun. I was looking at DJ Richie Sky and Carlos King's review of what's going on with Real Housewives of Atlanta, and he threw a little of Love and Marriage Huntsville in there. And they gave their point of view, and I want to give mine, and I want to know yours. So let's just get into it. So we'll start with Atlanta. So I don't know if you've seen Candy's post where she's saying that they don't know anything yet. Um, she hasn't heard anything yet. They have schedules, and she needs to know something. Um, clearly, they have not started. And Carlos was like, they've been delayed, and hopefully for the right reason to get the right people. And DJ Richie Sky was saying who he felt like should be on the show. And I don't know if you'll agree with it. I kind of don't agree with it, but I understand why he said it. He said Kim and Croy would be a good addition. Only because they actually have a storyline. He also mentioned Tamar and JR. I understand why he said it, but I don't think we need to see that. Tamar definitely will get the party started. She will amp it up. JR is clearly here for the cameras, but I don't, I personally don't want to see that on my TV because then there's the thing with Tamar and Candy. I, I don't know if that's something you'd like to see, but I don't think we'll be that interested in it. But he did make a good point about now they're kind of feeling it because he said the housewives is a cute chick and right now the cute chicks aren't being cut so let's get into that at the end of the day these women were getting paid some were getting paid more than two million dollars for four months of work a large part of them were getting paid over one million dollars for four months of work you are an entrepreneur just like me right um i sign checks okay and this is coming from somebody who signs checks with my production company, if I'm paying somebody a salary of $2 million for four months of work, and I feel like you've been coasting for a year or two, you, 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 you better believe I'm going to take my time to figure this out. I don't know anybody in the world or any job in the world where you can get paid $2 million for four months of work and give nothing. Now, I don't know how this is going to make some of you feel, but this is my opinion, and I'm happy to hear yours. But let's just start with Candy Burris, right? Candy is an entrepreneur. She's a marketing genius. She's a mother and a wife. And that's it that she gives on her daily life. Um... I don't need to see another product from Candy. That's what we have social media for. Um, I need her to clock in. She's not clocked in. Like, I don't know what else Candy can give. For $2 million? Candy was barely there this past season. Sheree is currently on Traders, on Peacock. And she is giving absolutely nothing. So it's not Housewives for Sheree. It's Sheree. And if Housewives are looking at traders and they see that she's not even showing up on there, Phaedra is killing it. Sheree is not even... She... It is some big dogs on traders. She has just disappeared into that crowd. She had two million dollars. You put Sheree put together a Gucci dinner. That is about all she gave last season. DJ Richie Sky also said, keep Kenya. I agree with that. But if you keep Kenya, she's gonna have to have a powerhouse, not even to go against, but somebody that can keep up with her. Sanya couldn't even keep her reads up with Kenya. Sanya has had her own reality show with her family. I think that's where she shines. But she can't handle these women. Right? Marlo. Love Marlo as a friend. 
I think she definitely should be a friend once again. Because we've seen all the fashions, right? We've seen them all over in social media with countless people. We don't need that. I DJ Richie Sky said not Drew. I think Drew has a good storyline if she will give it to us. Because Drew is a little dry too, right? Before we drop Drew, we could try to get something out of her. But let's keep going. We're now wondering, like, what's going on with this show? That should have been your focus day one when you were making this gross amount of money. And I agree with the decision makers. I will take my time, too. That, Richie, that's a lot of money. You want me to open up the Brinks truck? Give out at least at least eight million dollars for the entire cast. Okay, let's just say it's eight million total for all the cast members. You want me to rush a decision of investing eight million dollars into something that hasn't been great. I don't know nobody's job performance where you can be the number one employee and slide all the way down to number three or four, and you and you expect your job to be safe. I agree with him. And he went on to say that you expect your job to be safe because at one time Atlanta was like the number one show on Bravo. Now they're down to like three or four. And like he said, this happens every day in real life. If you are not meeting your performance at work, you either get demoted or you get fired. And the delay is a demotion and it should be some demotion with these peaches. Right. Then he went on to talk about that. People talk about his show, who should be there and who should not be there. They are currently filming for season seven of Love and Marriage Huntsville. And the question that everybody is asking is if Martell is going to be there. They are filming. Martell has just been arrested. He will be on the show. He's filming. But I'm going to let him tell you a little bit about how he does what he does. She's still on the show? And I look at my own stuff, right, in terms of like, okay, like I'm going through this right now with some shows of mine. <laughs> get rid of him. Get rid of them. You know, I, I get that all the time. And I don't pay attention to it because I know that at the end of the day, you can love somebody one season and hate them the next. So he went on to say that he doesn't listen to Twitter. Um, when, I guess, we we're making suggestions about who should be there because of something they've done. He looks at performance. In real talk, Martell is performing. Martell has a storyline. Regardless of how despicable we may think he is, He's going to be back. And we're going to watch because we want to see how this is going to play out and how much is going to be shown. So my question to you is, what do you think about The Real Housewives of Atlanta? What do you think about this current season seven of Love and Marriage Huntsville that's filming with most people coming back? He also said like, DJ Richie Scott asked him, is it a political thing to remove certain people? He was like, he removes people when they don't, they're not servicing the show, i.e. Destiny. I don't even think that was political. I think that was just common sense. So let me know what y'all think about this. It's your girl, Millie Chan, and we can talk about it. Bye, y'all.